Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to get Roblox Studio on a mobile. But before we get started, we want to actually see if the Roblox Studio application is actually available on mobile devices. So let's go to Play Store here and we just want to just type in Roblox Studio on our search bar and just click on search. As you can see, the Roblox application is the only thing that's actually appearing on our search results here. So as of right now, Roblox Studio is only available on PC and on Apple devices or computers. So that is, that is where you can only access this on your um, devices. So it is not available on mobile devices. So if you want to actually edit or create your own games, then you'll have to do this on your PC. As right now, mobile devices aren't actually powerful enough to handle the game development development on your mobile device but that doesn't actually stop us on actually seeing our creations on our mobile devices so for you to check your creations on roblox we just want to go ahead and go to our browser so in our browser you would just want to type in roblox.com and log in into your account so once you've logged in you just want to click on continue in browser and now in continue browser, you just want to click on create at the top of your screen there. And from here, you'll be redirected to the create.roblox.com website, where is currently the portal to Roblox Studio. So in here, you just want to click on the top right of your screen. And from here, you want to request desktop site option here. Once you've enabled that, you'll have the view similar to your desktop here. So go here at the top left of your screen under next to the creator at the top left. In here, you want to go to dashboard. Now in your dashboard, you should be able to see all of the creations that you have on your account. And yeah, so that's basically how you see all of the creations that you've made with a Roblox Studio with your account. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.